Also following more breaking news, this time out of Montgomery County. That is where embattled state representative Ron Reynolds has just turned himself in to begin serving his jail sentence from his conviction on five misdemeanor barratry charges or so-called ambulance chasing. Channel 2's Mario Diaz joining us now live from Conroe with details on this. Mario, good afternoon. Yeah, Andy, uh, we have seen Representative Reynolds in the past in Austin in a suit and tie coming into various rooms just a few minutes ago. He exited that door behind me there in handcuffs, turning himself in before the judge this morning here in Montgomery County at approximately 1045 a.m. The hearing was supposed to take place at 10 a.m. He showed up approximately 45 minutes late, but he did not contest at all the fact that he was turning himself in. He said that is correct. That is correct when the judge asked him if he he was willing to serve his time immediately and go to jail. He was cuffed inside of the courtroom. I, I, along with his attorney, were the only two people inside of that courtroom. And the bailiff took uh, Representative Reynolds over to the side of the room, cuffed him. He was processed, and then he was brought out the back. Mr. Reynolds, you are a state representative. You are also in handcuffs. What do you have to say as a lawmaker now being viewed as a lawbreaker? Do you have anything to say, sir? Do you plan to resign, Mr. Reynolds? Now, this occurrence here today is no doubt the most profound chapter uh, in terms of what is going on with his life outside of politics right now um, because of the fact that just last spring we also highlighted the fact that Representative Reynolds owes more than $50,000 uh, to the State Ethics Commission in fines uh, as a result of not turning in his campaign financial forms uh, on time or not at all. Uh, that is one problem. Today, a much bigger problem. He will be in jail for approximately a sentence of one year. However, prosecutors tell me that he might be out a bit sooner. But in all likelihood, come Election Day, he will be inside of a Montgomery County jail. Reporting live up in Conroe, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.